All right, good afternoon. This video documentation is with regards to the Audi uh, A4 B5 chassis uh, headlight. Uh, the E-code model as you have with the H7 uh, housing. And so uh, just to touch base on a few of the things that were uh, you know, a bit confusing during your installation. Um, one part we've already touched base on that uh, it appears that you've already resolved is actually the, uh, the turn signal socket right here. Uh, you know, as mentioned, uh, you will not be able to reuse, or you will not be able to use the provided one being that this is for the Euro models and uh, you will actually have to reuse your US spec one uh, into this socket housing. Uh, that being said, as mentioned in the listing, there is slight trimming that may be necessary just to get it to fit in, but once you do, everything should be okay for this uh, you know, turn signal. So um, that being said, this issue should be resolved on that end. Uh, moving forward to, I guess, a couple of the other more confusing uh, components here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and address uh, actually the low beam you know, installation and Z9HID uh, component use on this particular uh, model. Now this particular model does deviate a bit from what uh, you usually see on a depot uh, headlight in terms of wiring colors. Uh, you know, For this particular one, what we're looking at right here is uh, the low beam connector. And what you're going to go ahead and see on this one is actually a red wire and a, uh, a tan colored wire. And uh, typically on depot units, this is not really the colors you see. You, you'll usually see uh, more of a, a yellow and a brown for the low beam but again uh, this is a bit different so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through uh, you know making sure the polarity is uh, correct in all of the uh, connections for this being that uh, it is a xenon HID upgrade and uh, this will be actually pretty crucial so that being said this will be the first point that we're gonna start at now your bulb will be inserted like so um, you know the H7 is gonna be locked into the housing right here and uh, on your end what you would have would actually be the uh, the low beam cap right here would have a small hole drilled in it and you'd have this grommet coming out of it like so that being said uh, in this particular example we're gonna go ahead and remove the cap just so you could really see how everything flows now out of this bulb you're gonna have uh, two sets of wires coming out uh, one of the, the set or one of the sides of wires that's actually coming into the housing right here is gonna be a red and a black one and I'll go ahead and disconnect this for you just so you could see what they would look like you know by their set by themselves you'd have a red and uh, black wire in this case they're a spade connector in other cases they may come in a, a black connector but uh, in either case you'd have these two spades um, you know to be able to plug into this connector right here. Now, the polarity for this is actually gonna be uh, very crucial, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that everything is correct polarity for this. Now, in this case, red is gonna be the positive for the low beam connector, so you're gonna wanna match your red from the bulb, which is also positive, to the red to the headlight connector. Go ahead and insert that spade like so. You can see red to red, very good. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the, the black wire. Black wire, as you can imagine, is negative for the bulb. And on the headlight, negative is actually gonna be this tan colored wire. So we're gonna have the black to the tan colored wire at this connection. Plug that in. Now this connection is all set up. If yours looks like this, you're all set right here. If these are switched around, you're gonna go wanna go ahead and pull them out and switch them out so that red goes to red and black goes to tan. So that'll clear up this connection right here. Now moving down the line, outside of the uh, Outside of the low beam cap, so you'd be looking at it like this. Outside of the low beam cap, you're going to have these two connectors right here. Now, these two connectors, uh, they're pretty uh, one con one position only, so there, there's not really any kind of room for error on this. You know, they, they plug in uh, male to female, so they would be like so. And once those two are connected, you are all set. Nothing really to worry about right there. Now, the final point on the low beam side that we're going to actually worry about is going to be at the ballast mouth. Now on your particular ballast, it may look a bit different than this. You may have a ballast with you know, uh, maybe another set of wires coming out and then this connects to that set of wires. But uh, essentially the, the setup is gonna be the same. And now we're gonna, what's gonna be most important in this kind of setup is really to identify where positive and where negative is at. So uh, just as with the other connection at the bulb, red is positive and black is negative for the bulb. So we'll keep that in mind. And now we'll go over to our ballast. On your end, while the ballast may not look like this, what you will be looking for will be on the connector. Now, most of our ballasts will have uh, uh, markings on the connector that uh, are gonna indicate which side is positive and which side is negative. Uh, on yours, I believe they should be stamped into the black plastic, so you just kinda look at that. Now, when connecting the, the, headlight, or the low beam bulb connector, the 9006 connector, to the ballast's 9006 connector, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure that the positive goes to the positive and the negative to the negative. So in this case, we've got our red wire positive going to the positive right here, and the black wire going to the negative right there. Slip that in, and now this is all good. If uh, you know by any chance your current connection has you know red going to negative and black going to positive, unplug it, flip it around, and put it back in. So red is to positive, black is to negative. 
Now that'll seal up all the connections necessary on the low beam side of things. And uh, we'll move over here to just kind of show a bit of the other connections. Uh, you know, it's some things that might be a bit confusing. Um, this right here would uh, typically be like a leveling motor type connector. Uh, being that it's a US spec halogen model, we're not gonna actually use this. So put that off to the side. And just to uh, touch base real quick, uh, you know, it's typically be a city light type connector right here. It's multi temple goes in here, plugs into there and a high beam connector right here. Um, on your end, I do uh, realize that you've uh, let us know that you've already connected all this stuff, so this is no current issue right now. We'll place these back inside. Now, um, one other thing that we do uh, kind of notice in your messages is that you indicate that you only have a high beam connector. Now, just to clear that up, this connector right here, even though it is on top of the high beam cap, this is actually the main headlight connector. So this is gonna power the low beams, the high beams, every function of the headlight is actually coming through this connector right here. So this is not just a high beam connector. Now, on our end, we've actually set up everything uh, to pre-wire and we're actually gonna go ahead and hook it up to our power source to uh, actually just show you that when all the polarities are correct on all the uh, low beam connections right there, the uh, low beam will light up when power is applied. Now on your end, you wouldn't have this, you'd actually have the, the connector coming from your car, the, click right in and uh, so that's pretty much what you would do on your end you click that connector in and you would now have power going to the headlight so at this time we're going to go ahead and uh, power this up using our 12 volt power supply right here and uh, what you'll go ahead and see will be that the uh, low beam actually turns on so we'll go ahead and power it up right now and as you can see the low beam is indeed powered on So when all the polarity uh, at the connections is correct, the low beam will power on. Now in this specific case, I do uh, I did kind of uh, you know sort through your uh, your photos again, the provided photos. The one connector that I did notice for sure had incorrect polarity was actually at this one. So you're gonna want to pay a lot of attention to this. That red goes to red and black goes to tan. And uh, just double check the connection at the uh, ballast. And on your end, it would you know this connector would come to like a small plastic connector that goes down to the ballast. Uh, check that connector again just to make sure that the you know the positive is to positive and negative is to negative. Once that's all set, uh, you will have your low beam and uh, just make sure that that's the same on both sides, that polarity is correct on both sides, and then you should be all good to go. So uh, that being said, this concludes this video documentation. Uh, thank you very much.